my co-captain, co-author of our uh, cookbook, Rebel Homemaker, it's Pilar Valdez! <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys, but I am a humble home cook and I'm always looking for shortcuts and sort of, you know, how can I save time? Is there anyone with me that feels that way? Okay. Um, <clears throat> So this segment then is definitely for you and we teamed up with Ragu for a super fun competition and we're gonna put some other at-home chef to the test for a cooking contest we're calling How Do You Ragu? <laughs> okay, Pilar, tell everyone about the competition. So we reached out to three viewers who aren't professional chefs but are still known to whip up delicious meals in the kitchen. Mm. And because ragu sauce is a quick and easy way to skillfully cook delicious meals that the whole family can enjoy, mm. we challenge them to create a dish that was unique and accessible that uses ragu as the star ingredient. Well, I have to say, ragu is something that we've grown up with. I don't know life without ragu. It's so true. It gives me the cozies and I love it so much. And also, because it's a competition, the winner is going to receive not only bragging rights, but $1,000. All right, let's get started. Our first contestant is a self-taught cook from Rhode Island. Please meet Roscoe. Hi, my name is Roscoe Gay. I currently reside in Rhode Island, and I love to cook. I'm not formally trained, but my dish with ragu is a braised short rib over smoked Gouda grits. And this is a childhood classic that my father used to give us. So let me walk you through my recipe. I have about a pound of fresh short ribs. Add Worcestershire sauce, olive oil, and all-purpose seasoning. Prepare your peppers, onions, and now in a skillet, sear that short rib. Once that is browned, add the short ribs and veggies to the crock pot. Add in one bottle of ragu, let it cook, and then in a saucepan now, bring water to a boil, add in some of the broth that's in the crock pot, and add your favorite instant grit. Then add in your cheese and just stir. Put the short ribs right on top, garnish it with the green onions, and enjoy. Hey, Drew and Bilar, I hope you guys enjoy the smoked Gouda grits along with the ragu short beef ribs. I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> Excited to eat this, Roscoe. I love it. I just dug in. I'm so sorry. And I'm going with the spoon because it's so incredibly tender. It's also beautiful and autumnal. Beautiful job, Roscoe. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so excited to be here with yes. you. <laughs> Thank you. So our next beauty is bringing a little bit of Philly to our studio today. This is Mike. Hi, my name is Mike Watson. I'm married to my awesome wife, Kathy. I spent 39 years in the Philadelphia Fire Service and retired at battalion chief. Prior to that, I enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. And as everybody knows about the fire service, we make food in the firehouse. Philadelphia is known for their cheese sticks. And the recipe that I'm doing is going to be the Philly Ragu Pepperoni Pizza Stick. To start this recipe off, you have to cook that meat on a griddle. And you always want to season every layer when you're cooking. In the meantime, we're gonna cook some pepperoni. Once the meat's finished, I put mozzarella cheese right on the cooked meat, and then I put ragu sauce. And I let the sauce and cheese permeate the flavor of the meat. When that part's finished, I put it on a real good roll. And we're gonna put some more ragu on it, and more shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna put my cooked pepperoni on top of that. Put it in a broiler, and when it starts to bubble a little bit and brown, that's when you put it out and you serve it. Who's up, Joe Clark? Come and get it. Mike, I'm so excited to meet you. Excited to meet you too. Now, Mike, uh, tell us about your sandwich. I like the cheese and sauce on the cooked meat, blend the flavors in, then put the meat on a roll, more cheese and sauce. So every bite you take, you get a flavor of that ragu and that mozzarella cheese. Well, also a lot of people don't have like professional Absolutely. cookware at it's home. True. It's so. a really great way to do it at home. And I was really watching like the layers of the sauce and cheese. I'd really appreciate oh, that. Good. Oh, that's good. Oh, please. <laughs> Mike, Roscoe, this is really, that you guys, these dishes are incredible. <laughs> Ragu sauce was created by an Italian mother with a family recipe from Naples, Italy. And here's Roxy 
with a twist on her own family's recipe. Hi, my name is Roxy Raffles. I currently live in Old Bridge, New Jersey. I've got three little ones. I actually grew up in Romania. So I decided to do a polenta for you because this is a dish that every person in Romania is used to eating. So today we're making our ragu shrimp with a cheesy polenta. First things first, you gotta get water to boil, add in our dry polenta, add our feta cheese, and that's just gonna sit on the side. For the shrimp, start with a nice hot pan with olive oil, add garlic and ginger, and put in the shrimp, add this beautiful red ragu sauce. Start plating that cheesy polenta. Spoon this ragu sauce with shrimp right on top. Add some fresh basil. For a great little bit of garnish, I personally love to add a little bacon on top. I spread a little bit of the Thai chili sauce. Put that in the oven for about 10 minutes and you can just garnish it right on top. And that's how you make ragu shrimp with cheesy polenta. Please enjoy, Drew and Pilar. Put this in my team. Hi, Roxy. Hi. How so are nice you? To meet you? It's so nice to meet you too. Thank you. Now, shall, shall we, we dig, dig in? in? <laughs> Do you see that? We say the same things at the same time. It's true. <laughs> mm. <laughs> right? The texture of the shrimp against the creaminess of polenta Thank is you. really delicious. Also a really good cook on the shrimp. Mm -hmm. And the ragu sauce just like brings it all together. <laughs> um, all right, well, we've tried them all. We have. What are we gonna do, Pilar? We're gonna have them shut off our mics, I think, real quick while you and I chit chat. Are we and gonna then, kibitz? We're gonna kibitz. Okay. And then we're gonna announce the winner. Okay, this really sucks and is really hard, but I gotta say this. The winner's gonna win $1,000, but whoever also um, is in second and third place, they're also gonna get $500. So. A friendly competition here. So the winner is one, two, three. Roscoe! Roscoe, we really loved your dish. Your short ribs were really, really, really well cooked. But Mike, I loved your sandwich. And I thought your plate of food, um, Roxy, was just beautiful, unctuous, delicious, and hearty. And thank you so much to all of you guys for joining us. Thank you. 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 Thank you.